adventures in Japan. Hello, you wonderful people. I'm about to head out of Osaka, head on the Keihan Line, and head to Kyoto. The trip will be a short one. It'll only take about 30 minutes to get to Kyoto, but I'm not going there for the history, for the palaces, for the temples. I'm going there for the race course to go see some horse racing. So let's get to Osaka for a little while and go to the cultural capital of Japan, Kyoto. And within 30 minutes, I'm in a place called Yodo in Kyoto. And there's the horse racing center. But look at that, I guess you could bring your kids. Promote gambling kids, you get to play on playgrounds. And if you just want general seating to come in, it's only 200 yen. So my question about this is how is this legal? Because gambling in Japan is completely illegal. Like Pachinko, the way you make money from that is kind of a backwards way. But recently casinos were allowed to do this. But I asked how long has this been going on for? Horse racing has been really popular in Japan. But then I found out that the government gets about 20% of all the earnings from these horse racing things. So of course they're okay with it. And before the race begins, they let the horses go out for a little bit of a walk to get them ready. And also so people can see which one they want to bet on. I believe they call this a paddock. Come and look at the horses all day, but the point of coming to a horse race is the bet, so let's bet on some horses. And here's the immense track. I don't know what I was thinking, I didn't know this was going to be this big. But again, I've never been to a horse race before, so I'm lucky enough to have seats. I have a board, I have my betting slip for this next race, and I have a beer. Seems like a great day to me. And this is what betting places look like. It's like an ATM machine. That's my. That's what I want right there. Thanks. There you go. Now you wouldn't know it, but there's actually a race going on right now. Like, look at the screen. There's horses out on the track and everything. But that's actually in Tokyo, and you can bet money in Tokyo as well. This means you can lose a lot of money here. All right, this is the race. <laughs> and there they go. Well, I didn't do so well on that last race. However, it's about just having fun because betting is not a surefire thing. When I came to the horse track, I didn't think I was going to see stuff like this. I thought I was just going to see horses. It looks like a big giant exercise ball, just inflated. It reminds me of the thing that was at Wet n Wild that you could climb up, but I've really never seen anything quite like that. However, it does look like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Man, if I was a kid, I'd say, hey, dad, let's go back to the horse racing track. Why, you wanna see the horses? No, I wanna to go to the playground. That's an awesome looking park. And given that it's only 200 yen to get in here, it's not a bad price to play for a nice little park that's private and uh, right next to the train tracks, you always go home right after it. I think the most special thing about this park is the fact that it's protected by Colonel Sanders himself. And just a little Japanese information for you. To say horse in Japanese, you say uma. And then if you say something's really tasty, you might say oishi or umai. So uma umai, the horse is very tasty. Wait a minute, is John Hammond here? Welcome to the racetrack or, or Jurassic Park. Look 
at that. There's like a little park, but right over there, there's a little shrine in the horse racing area. This process is starting to repeat itself. And this is where the money is right here. Let's turn. Two's going with one. Stay up there, one. No, 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 no. The other car, go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away. Well, it's okay because I had two and six, too. So I won one. I found one. Back there, there's the horse that won me $3.20. That was a really fun experience. However, I wouldn't recommend that to anyone that has addiction problems. Because you can put a dollar on every race, but you know, if you're like, oh, I gotta win, I gotta win, I gotta win, I gotta win, you might you might find yourself out a lot of money. People say that you live by the sword and you die by the sword, but if you live by a train, you're probably gonna die by the train too, because everyone's gonna go to one place, and that's the train station. One thing worth mentioning would be that there's no way in America they would put a park in a place that's made for gambling. Children and gambling really shouldn't go together. But then again, you look at places like Las Vegas and there's a bunch of goofy stuff going on that's aimed towards all ages. However, that's Vegas. All in all, I'd say that wasn't that bad of an experience. So if you find yourself over the age of 20 and you're like, hey, I want to go gamble on some horses, you come out to Kyoto and you gamble on horses. You can lose some money, but you can have a good time too, I imagine. So as I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. You guys stay groovy and have a great day. Peace.